Today, I'm going to retouch this image using the Sean Archer actions for Photoshop. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Chris McNish, content creator for Sweet Gap Incorporated, where we provide solutions using content creation to tell your story. Before I go any further, remember to hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you wanna be notified when I post more content. If you don't know about Sean Archer, please check out his work. I love his work and he is selling his actions. I will leave his information in the description. We are going to open up Photoshop right here. And as you can see, I've already retouch the skin. What we're gonna do is that we're going to open up Sean Archer's portrait master actions. And before we do that, there's an icon that's on the top right. Let's click on that and then we'll click on button mode. We'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and we will select legacy action. So we have the legacy action here, we'll click on it. And then it says balance your image. And what happens is it takes you to camera raw so you can balance your image, you can do all that. But I've done that already. And then it says create subject mask. And what it's gonna do is gonna create a mask for you. So you don't have to create a mask in order to do this. So everything in red is actually transparent. This thing is awesome. Okay, click on okay. And then it says, change your mask. And now what it does here, so you know that uh, after it's done, you trying to figure out what you're gonna do next, it's still highlighted here. So it's saying, hey, I need you to click back on legacy action again. Okay, so then it's gonna position the light. All right, now this light here, what it wants, what it wants you to do, if you, when you, when you get this action and you're, you're able to read it, it wants you to put this light where, um, on the opposite end of where you have your strobe or your window on the subject. So for example, I had a strobe here and my strobe is on this side of my subject's face. They want you to put this on the opposite side. So I'll put it about maybe right there click that or click okay. And then it says it wants you to uh, adjust the opacity. So I'm just gonna adjust it just a hair. And all you're doing is looking at it to see how it suits what you're trying to do. Some might want more light, some might want less light. Um, I want mine to look a little bit more natural like it was supposed to be there. Okay, click on okay. And then it, it asks if you want to position another light there. So let's say that I wanna put a light here, but normally I only do one light, so I'm gonna click okay. Continue, it's gonna ask me to set the opacity, but I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna put my opacity to zero, click okay, so I don't have to deal with it. Then it's gonna ask you to add a background texture layer. Uh, continue, so I already have a texture here. They have uh, anywhere from, I think it's one to, don't, don't quote me on this, but I know it's more than 12. They have several textures that you can play, that you can use. And so now you open up this texture because remember it masked everything for you. So it's doing most of the work. All right, I'm just gonna open this up a little bit more. That's cool. Click on okay. That gives you a little texture on your backdrop. So it says here, if you want to adjust your backdrop, the color of it, let's say I want to go yellow. Probably not. Go a little blue. I'm loving the blue. Even though yellow is a better complement to it, I'm loving the blue already. Let's see. You don't want to do any cyan. Red is okay. I'm not gonna mess with that. Don't wanna do any magenta. Oh, magenta's nice. All right, so you can preview it. I think that's that's okay, but I, I definitely need to bring the opacity down some. 
says if you want to adjust the saturation of the background this i don't generally use most of the time because um i've never found myself in a situation where i needed to increase the uh saturation so i'll usually leave it back at zero and then if you want to adjust the opa opa opacity of the backdrop bring it down just to, yeah i like that so we preview what it looked like before maybe i bring it back a little bit yeah that's good click on okay and then like i said you're just waiting for the next step now it wants you to position the face light so we'll see where you move the light here if you move it over here it's like you're putting the light there so i'm just gonna add the light maybe about right there then it says adjust the adjust the opacity i want to bring it down bring it up see if that's too much and then i want to bring it down see how it hits there then toggle on toggle off toggle on toggling on and off is key because it tell it shows you what you're do, what you're actually doing to your image yeah i like that so let's click okay then it says adjust the opacity of your shadows so if you want to increase the shadows increase the shadows like that <laughs> You're just increasing the shadows and making that contrast between the highlights and the shadows. It just gives your image uh, just a different look. See, from before, after, before, after. And then the thing that I like that they do here is um, they say they, if you want to paint on additional highlights, you can do that. So set your opacity to 100, set your flow to 5. Now it wants you to do the same thing for the shadows. And the legacy action is complete. So now you're going to the next step. Right here, is it talks about awesome eyes, but I know that this generally works when you have a model that has colorful eyes. Kamari has dark eyes, so there's no reason to go to the eyes. I don't use the vignettes here because I create my own vignette. And so I'm going to skip the vignette, but the split tones is what I want you to see. So let's go to the split tones. As that comes up, this is what Sean Archer has done. If you're looking at the split tones right now, you'll be able to see a thumbnail from one to 12. He has already done the work so that you can see 12 different looks beside each other to see which one works for you. <laughs> this action is amazing. And so um, just to narrow it down, I already know the one that I want to pick, but I'm loving number five. Um, I'm loving, I really love number five. Number nine is cool. Uh, number 12 is cool so it's either 5 9 or 12 so i'm just gonna zoom in a little bit i think i'm gonna go with nine and then bring the opacity down some so then what you do is there's a layer for the thumbnail so you click on you click that off and then you pick your thumbnail so i think i said i was gonna pick number nine and there it is there so what he has on the same layer as number nine is that he has a mask here so on the mask you can select the mask and just in case if you need to take some of the color off of the skin and the hair you might not want that on there so i'll select my brush i'll make sure since my mask is white I make sure that my brush color is black. 
just remember if your mask is white in order for the in, in order for the technique to work your brush color has to be the opposite color so if it's white your brush color needs to be black if it's black your brush color needs to be white white is to add on and black is to take away from that layer i'm actually learning something myself <laughs> oh man all right so we're gonna go to flow and then the opacity let's put it at 50 percent and then we're just gonna take off gonna take off some of that blue off the skin just like that I think that looks great okay and we'll see before after before and after awesome so let's delete this thumbnail here because we don't need any more since we made our selection and then if you want to do a finishing effect um, like sharpening it will do it for you boom so you continue there and then what it <laughs> This is so awesome. So if you want to see what it looked like before, this is before and this is after. And there you have it. Remember to support other artists, especially those that do it full time. Thank you so much, Sean Archer, for these wonderful actions. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, subscribe to my page, click on that notification bell and don't forget to leave a comment.